Hi, I'm Jonathan with Nomadic Cooling. We're here in Fresno, California today with Chris Ryan from Dometic. And today we're gonna to be doing an install on the Dometic CCFT. All right guys, so we're up in the truck. First step's gonna be pop open that console, clean out all the junk you got in there. And final step for that is gonna be to remove this rubber mat. I'm just gonna place that aside for the time being and we're gonna move around to the back. All right, so the next part of the install is gonna be working on the back of the console. We're gonna have to remove these top cup holders and then that's gonna allow us to remove this back panel and that's where we're gonna access power to power the bin. So you start by pulling back the rubber here and there's gonna be a screw in here that uses a T15. I'm gonna pull that all the way out. Set that there. And then you're gonna to wanna to try and get your fingers underneath the cup holders. And these are just little retaining tabs and everything pops out like so. So those are the retainers that you're gonna be fighting to pop that up. Once that's off, there's another T15 screw right on the back side of this console here that comes off, set that aside. Those are both the same size, so they're interchangeable. And then you're gonna wanna gently pry this back section of the console off, starting with the top clips and then working your way down. Now there's gonna be a lot of electrical, electrical connectors in here. We're gonna be removing all of them so that we can access the back section of the bin so that we can drill the hole for power. That'll be an eighth and an inch, one eighth and one inch hole. So this connector, this little red tab pops out. That'll allow you to push down on the tab and pull that connector out. So what I did there is pull this red tab out, push down on the tab here, and that connector pops right out. This connector down here has a little kind of like horseshoe style. This part pushes in and then it just pivots out and then you can set that out of the way. The last one I find is a lot easier if you rotate the entire panel over. So this one here, this gray connector, this is actually the connector that's going to power the bin. This little red tab pulls out, and then you have to push in on this gray piece here and release it from this cavity. Uh, it really helps to have a tool to fit in there to push that in. It's very hard, very difficult to do with just your thumb. I managed to get it there. So this tab here, this is what's retaining this connector in the brown connector. And that's what you're trying to push in. So this little piece here, pushing that down and pulling it out. All right, so we're inside the console here. There's two side brackets. Uh, these side brackets are gonna be removed and there are some Dometic side brackets that will go in that'll allow the fridge to actually screw into them. So this is a T15 Torx. Pull that screw. Pull that screw and then this just pops out the side like that. And then there's another one on the opposite side. Set those screws aside along with the brackets. All right, so the next step, we're gonna install the Dometic supplied side brackets to mount the fridge in the console. These are gonna go right where those brackets that we just removed were. They fit on here. We do supply screws. These are Phillips head. So these are gonna go down in the outboard holes. The center holes are reserved for where the screws to attach the fridge will go. You can use a power drill for this step. Uh, you are screwing into plastic though, so keep that in mind. You're definitely gonna wanna set the torque cutoff a little low. I like to use just a regular screwdriver. You can tell it's only like three or four turns. It's really not that bad, so. So one thing about this model, this model does have the Bose premium sound. That means there is a subwoofer enclosure right in front of this wall that runs up through the front of the console and the speaker is somewhere underneath like the wireless charging pad. We need to be extremely careful drilling through the front wall of this console. And we don't really wanna exceed much past, you can actually see this white line where it stops here. We don't wanna go too far past that. So what I'm gonna do is actually tape up this drill bit, put a ring of tape around here, probably a few layers. So that way, 
when we do get to that point, the tape should stop the drill bit and we don't go poking too far. If you go too far, you will drill through or into the subwoofer enclosure, which could alter the sound characteristics that Bose had intended for the vehicle. So we're gonna quick tape this up and then get started on the drilling. All right, so we got our template down in there. We got a right angle drill. We have our center hole. We're just gonna start this All right, we'll find our arbor hole. And you wanna do this nice and easy. three and a half inch hole. And next we're gonna need a vacuum to clean up some of these shreds. All right, so the next hole we're gonna drill is the inch and an eighth hole for the power connection. This template sits right on top of the console bin right here, and then comes down and you wanna have that roughly centered in this little recess back here. And there's the center hole. We're gonna use the inch and an eighth on a right angle drill again. And for this one, I'm just going to start by getting the arbor through, and then I'm going to come at it from the back side and drill from the back to the front. All right, so the reason I'm coming at this from the back side is we have this air plenum right here. And if you come at it from the front, from inside the bin out, there's a good chance that you could run into this air plenum coming at it from the back allows me to wedge the arbor in there and just kind of push that air vent out of the way. There we are. There's where our power is going to be. Just like that. All right, so we've got our three and a half inch hole up front. We've got our inch and an eighth hole in the back. We've got our bin staged here sitting on the console. And now we're gonna take this power plug and insert it into our inch and an eighth hole until it snaps in like that. Connectors that we removed in the earlier step, this gray connector with the red tab on top, this is what's going to power the bin. And that's gonna get plugged in right down there. I recommend routing it behind this wire here. All right, so we plug the bin in, accessory power is on. I do hear the fans running. Our blue light is on and the walls are starting to get cold. So we do have good power to the bin. Next step is going to be to drop it and lower it down into the console. It may be helpful to tape this power cord out of the way. Uh, somewhere along in this back recess here would work. We got the unit all dropped in. We're gonna tighten down these two and a half millimeter Allen key bolts that secure it to the side brackets. There's four bolts. Those are all snugged up. She's ready to go. All right, so I wanna take a quick moment to highlight the differences between the part number for models with bows and the part number for models without bows. So the current part number that's on the market right now does not fit models with the Bose speaker, and this is why. So this is the secondary fan that gets inserted into the front console wall and plugged into the harness of the bin. Now, because that Bose speaker enclosure is right there in front of the console wall, we can't insert this fan all the way. So the second part number that's launching later this year, later 2022, has a fan that is built right into the unit and just uses the hole as a means of blowing air in rather than having a fan that mounts in that hole. So on models without bows, this speaker, this wall, this enclosure is not there. This 
fan pushes right into it, plugs into the harness, the bin drops down just the same, and the other steps are identical. All right, so we're gonna start the reassembly of the back of the console. We've got the back panel here. We're gonna start by making these electrical module connections, starting with the one at the bottom. This kind of hooks in towards this side here, and then pivots, snaps in like that. This one, you wanna make sure that red tab is popped out, and this is going into this module up here, which is for your USB ports. Make sure that red connector gets snapped back in. That's what locks the connector in place. The 12 volt that was here is now powering the bin. So this actually no longer has power. That power is running to the bin. Uh, so no connector to connect there. And then I like to start with the bottom, then work my way up to the top and fit it in. You wanna make sure these vents, the air plenum's meeting up with the vents. And then it all snaps on just like that. And then the T15 screw that we took out going to go right here in this back panel. Then we've got our cup holders. These are going to snap on just like that. And don't forget about the screw that's just underneath the rubber here. This goes on the top. And that presses back down there. And this rubber, will rela that'll relax back to normal over time. All right, so I've got the side brackets and the screws that installed these side brackets that we pulled out of the console. And I just put them in a small baggie. And those we're just gonna place right in the glove box, just in case we ever decide to pull the refrigerator out. We've got those right there handy to put back in. We just wrapped up the GM CCFT install in this 2020 GMC Sierra HD AT4 with Bose Premium Sound. We got the beverages chilling in the center console fridge. And yeah, if you need a GM CCFT to go further in comfort, give Nomadic Cooling a call. I just destroyed that Did one take. Did you take it, Kenny? You're gonna have to play that back for him. No, we gotta do it with me. It'd be weird if I wasn't in there. This is the thing about people from Domatic. Not only do they do all the work around here, they're trying to steal my job, Kenny. Guys, if you wanna go further in comfort, with Chris doing your outro, give Nomadic Cooling a call. Let's go further together. <laughs>